Hey guys, uh, today we're just going to be going through uh, a few picks I had laying around um, just so we can kind of get a sense of how different materials will produce different uh, tones and then uh, I'll kind of at the end just give you what some of my few favorites are that I've had. Um, we're just going to be doing the guitar straight into the box, uh, no effects, so that way you can hopefully hear uh, the little differences between each material. Um, and I'll put the information for the pick uh, as we go along and links to everything uh, in the description. So without further ado, I guess we'll go ahead and get started. So if you stuck around to the end, I just wanted to give a few final thoughts. Um, I have been using for the last five years like the Tortex style uh, material. Um, what I've been using for the last year has been Gear Supply Co. Uh, I've been really loving those and that's just what I'm used to. Um, also I wanted to say that the ones out of the whole set that uh, we just did that I've enjoyed have been the Iron Age uh, guitar accessory picks. Um, 
Probably my number one out of everything has been the spearhead shapes. So we got the coconut shell one and the new ironclad legion series that they just put out. Um, for whatever reason, they just feel pretty comfortable and they get a pretty nice attack on the strings just because, you know, they got a little more of a point uh, as compared to your standard pick shape. Um, I've also been using their tri-pick um, for base because, I mean, it's a good thickness and there's really no chance of you dropping this unless you're just way too loose on your grip. But out of everything, those have been the ones I've really enjoyed. So I just want to thank you for watching and uh, let me know if there's any other picks that you think I should give a try to. So yeah, thanks.